we give God the praise? Praise God, it is finished, and guess what? He has won. That means we have won. Amen? I tell you right now, we victorious. We got to press on. The enemy's out about trying to do what he can do. I've been ministering on uh, Satan, our, the deceiver of the world and humanity. He's had a lot of practice. But praise God, we win, you know. And we as Christians, we just have to stand when these uh, uh, trials and tribulations come. Amen. And uh, tribulations brings what? Patience. I don't like that. I'm a McDonald syndrome guy, you know. <laughs> I like it quick. <laughs> Praise God, but sometimes uh, we got to do what we got to do. You know, uh, I appreciate everybody, and I certainly appreciate all the prayers. I tell you, had people calling me and had people see me and out and about and whatever and say, man, miss you and been praying for you. And uh, I picked Henry up on the road down here today and took him to the bus station. He said, man, we miss you Sunday. We're, uh, we, 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 we pray you well, you know. And so uh, I just... Uh, Praise God, it is uh, good to feel good. But I tell you right now, you know, we're going through some, we're going to go through trials and tribulations the Lord said we would. But when we're going through them, it's not fun, is it? Don't like it. I don't like it. But we get through. We get through. Because we're His, and regardless of what happens, we're going to stand with Him and trust Him anyway. Amen? That's the bottom line. We're going to trust Him anyway. And uh, so we're going to look at some things. I, I think, I'm pretty sure I am, I'm going to finish up tonight on uh, some things that the Lord had me to come out with about uh, our enemy, Satan. I hate him and he hates me. That's all right. I'm glad that's the way it is. Just one of those things, you know. <laughs> he made a big mistake. He tried to be greater than God. And God threw him out. Amen. Because God was what? His creator. He made him. God made him. You know, tonight I'm going to be, uh, like I say, I think tonight's uh, ending up. I've been ministering on Satan, our dece deceiver of mankind, and some of the things that, that uh, he does. And uh, and But uh, some of the stuff I'm going to end up with tonight is uh, Satan causes all sickness. All sickness. And you know, I tell you right now, the older uh, we, uh, I get, uh, uh, this world ain't got nothing I want. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a terrible thing. Uh, you know, uh, uh, sickness and even in our animals and our, uh, the world around us everywhere is, is things going on. And it's all because of the devil, Satan. That's why these things happen. I tell you right now, and uh, 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 I want to finish up... Uh, Tonight, we're going to talk about some Bible diseases and some of those things, you know, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, the devil is uh, is the one that causes sickness. And we're going to look at some of the things tonight. But all these diseases and stuff we can look at, God's healed every one of them. I can show you in God's Word, the Scripture and everything, where He healed uh, these areas. Uh, uh, and uh, me and Jeanette was talking the other day when I preached a message or something, you know, the devil come to what? Kill, steal, and destroy. But God came uh, to give life and give it more abundantly. But now, uh, listen to this. Uh, uh, what was the purpose of our Lord Jesus uh, to come uh, to destroy the works of the devil? And so what does that mean? Destroy, it means undo. It means undo the works. The works of the devil has started a lot of stuff, you know, but God, our, our, uh, our Lord Jesus came to undo the terrible things that he's done. Amen? So we can look at that tonight and, and be happy about that tonight. And I think I'll get through this probably pretty quick so everybody can go home and watch the news and see that hurricane gone down another lick. <coughs> Amen? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. 
But let's look and see. Uh, tonight, I want to, like I say, I, I told him, I said, I oh, will deliver that message tonight, you know. Satan calls it all sickness. You know, we can look around and say, thank God meant for us to live in the Garden of Eden when he gave it to Adam uh, eternity and not die. And uh, the curse brought what? Death. The curse brought death. When that snake come and deceive Eve and, and Adam, they were there in the garden and everything, it brought death back uh, in this uh, sin, brought it to, uh, back in the, uh, the world as we know it today now. But God has a plan. Amen. And uh, let's look at Luke 13, 16, and just see what it says. And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound, lo, these 18 years be loosed uh, from the bond on the Sabbath day. And uh, start, I want to start out right there and just look at an example. Who did it say had bound her? Satan bound her for how long? 18 years she'd been in bondage. 18 years she'd been uh, humped over in that bondage for 18 years. Said that Satan had her bound. And ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound low, this 18 years be loosed from the, uh, the bond of, on this seventh day. I want to tell you right now. I, I want to tell you. Listen. There is so many people out there. They all around us uh, uh, that's in bondage, y'all. And it's, it's the work of the devil, the bottom line is. I'm here to tell you right now, everywhere you look around, it might be bondage in pornography. It might be bondage in sex. It might be bondage in, a bondage in alcohol. It might be, a, <coughs> I mean, there's they so many things out there that people can get bound up with. Did you know that? And the devil controls them with that. Just like this woman right here. Now, she had a sickness, an infirmity. She was uh, bent over for 18 years. But who done that? Satan done it. I tell you right now, Satan comes at us to try to kill and, and, and steal and destroy and to tear us down and everything. And we got to be ready for his tactics. We got to look at some of the things uh, uh, that our deceiver does. We got to be aware of some of these things. And I know the attack of the enemy. I've been uh, attacked here lately, a bunch of us, uh, we know, because we go into the Dominican Republic, and some of us, we've been, uh, min I've been ministering on uh, uh, Satan and trying to reveal some of the, the tactics of our de uh, the, de uh, the devil that comes against us. But our Lord has, we're victorious because of our Lord. Amen. But, uh, you know, when you go into battle, you don't want... I don't want to go in battle, uh, but we in the military and everything, they tell us right quick, you know, know what our enemy's doing and what to prepare for and look out for and get some surveillance and find out what we can do and know about our enemy. Amen? Well, uh, the devil is our enemy, and we need to do that. And we see right here, we're going to talk about some of it tonight, about sicknesses and diseases and stuff like that, which is caused by the devil. And I'm here to tell you right now, it's everywhere, isn't it? You go in the hospital. I've been in two or three ERs. This week, two of them, matter of fact, three. I went to 360 over at Jenny, and they run me to the ER. And you got to wait at the ER. I went to 360 so I could walk in, you know. I don't like lines. I hate lines. And had been for my wife, I'd probably left. But Becky, you know, I got to get, you know, anyway. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, uh, we went there. We had to wait, wait, wait. And then get in there, and they don't know and all this, you know. And so you'll be okay. Come back if you ain't. Well, I come back. I wasn't. Had to go to the ER again. But God bless me Saturday morning. I went early Saturday morning. Wasn't nobody there. They brought me right on in. Hey, man, what's going on? Let's work on you. Yeah. Hey, fix me up. Jerk some of this blood out of here. And get all you want. <laughs> Run me through the gauntlet again, you know. I done been through it three times. Well, that's the way they do, you know. But I tell you right now, you get to looking around you, and, and they they sickness is everywhere it, it's, uh, it's everywhere and it's, it's it's the devil is what it is it causes it we see it right here don't we and are not this woman being a uh, daughter of abraham whom satan hath bound satan in lo this 18 years be loosed uh, from this bond on the seventh day you see the pharisees and sadducees was a hollering why are you going to heal that woman on the seventh well them suckers ought to have been bound up for 18 years and they said well go ahead and heal me now baby you know don't that get them Pharisees and Sadducees is crazy. They're going by the law. 
oh, we don't want to heal nobody and make them feel good and get rid of that infirmity they had for 18 years on the Sabbath. She needs to wait till the next day. Huh? Religious. Religious tradition, but that's what some of this is we're talking about here. You know, some. But I'll tell you right now, but Jesus, and that's what Jesus uh, was telling them, you know, but uh, you know what he did? He loosed her. He undone what the devil had done. That's the way to put it, ain't it? <laughs> but we see that. Uh, we see that. And uh, we're going to look at some more stuff in here. Uh, uh, now, I'll tell you something. Satan causes all sickness, disease, physical, mental, and humans. Now, there was some uh, mental stuff going on in here this, act, uh, this afternoon. I don't mean that in a negative way. Had some problems, uh, real problems. Y'all just y'all can't imagine. And uh, uh, but God can heal. But the mental wasn't ready and was not comprehending what needed to be done because of that. That's a sickness too, y'all. And uh, that was a, 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 a you can't imagine what went on here. Uh, y'all y'all just don't know. But. Uh, I pray God will, will, will help that man. He really needs help. He worked all his life, done it, all this stuff, and all of a sudden the devil's trying to kill him and destroy him and uh, had him in institute and he escaped twice. And, and they got him on medication now, and he's had his own business, done real well and everything. But uh, this is my, one of my, uh, this is my brother's, one of his friends and everything. And so, uh, I pray God's going to get him. I talked to him about the Lord over there. He thinks he's okay, but he's not. I pray God's going to get a hold of him, you know. And then we, we, we had another one here that, uh, oh, <laughs> hey. what's going on back there? <laughs> that gets everybody's attention, doesn't it? And, you know, I, I don't mean this wrong, but, you know, so, and I've done it myself. You know, when you get right out on a limb and you ain't got no other place to go, what do you do? You look up, don't you? Help, help me, Lord. Help me. Get me out of this. Well, you still got a consequence to pray for what's going on, you know. If you do, if you see there's a consequence, if you will pay. And that's the way it is. And, you know, I'm working on a, 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 a big message right now about government laws and everything, but our, we're accountable and we're responsible. I'm digging in that pretty good, you know, and we're supposed to honor our laws and stuff. Why? It was put there because of God. And it was put there to, 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 to uh, convict the criminals and people that's doing wrong to help our society stay in a moral right way, you know. But I won't get in that message. This looks like it's going to be a long until I, I done filled up two or three of my things and it looks like it's going to. But it's something that's needed today, y'all, because there's a lot going on in America and in our, our world and everything. I won't get in that right now. We're going to finish this one tonight. <laughs> We're going to finish this one tonight, bud. <laughs> But I'm going to do what God said. I don't care regardless, you know. And I, it, it tickles me. I Boy, I was, man, I was bold. And boom, I jumped in and said, well, you got to do this at so-and-so time. And you got to start it right then. I said, no, I ain't. I'm going to deliver that message before I do anything. And they, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's look right here and uh, go a little bit further now, I'll tell you right now, Satan causes all sickness, diseases, physical and mental, in the human race. Now, but guess what? Jesus healed all. Amen. Jesus come to undo what uh, the enemy has done. Look here. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the who? All oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Did you know God is with us? And one of our benefits is healing and some of the things we're talking about here. The enemy comes at us. And I tell you right now, when you got going through, I don't know. I don't care what shoot me. You know, that's the way you feel. 
you know, get me out of my misery. I'm ready. I'm ready to go be with the Lord anyway. But God ain't through with you. Until that happens, it's, you know, that's the way it's going to be. But I'll tell you right now, when you're going through all that and everything, but when you cry out to the Lord, God is still with you. There was a couple times I was going through that stuff, and I don't think even, boy, I felt really bad. I, I mean, and you know, I don't, I don't get sick a lot, and I, I was sick, and uh, I felt bad, and, and, and uh, but you know, the Spirit of God hit me twice. <laughs> felt so good, you know, so I knew God was with me, and I just kept pressing on, you know, I said, well, I'll overcome this, and they kept saying all this old stuff, you know, but here I am, praise God, and here you are, Amen. Let's go, let's go right here. The Holy God had anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Praise God Almighty. And I want you to look at this one right here. This is a real good one. I got a song. That's what I call my song. I ain't through with it yet, but I'm getting close. I got to write it down because if it gets on the Internet, they can steal it from me. I got to write it down and send it to me in a certified letter. That's the way that I hold on to the rights of it. That's how you do that. And I haven't wrote it down yet, but I've got I've got a whole stack of them at the house, eight or nine of them. That I've got that away. But I got two new songs I wrote, and I got to write them down and send it to me at my house, Rick Bagel, certified letter, dated, and don't open it. And that way, if they get in, I say, oh, I got it right here, baby. Looky here. Now, that's uh, that's one way you can do it. Or you can come a chunk out a bunch of money and do it that way. I'd rather do it this way. <laughs> Looky here. I really. This is the name of the song, 11, John 11, 5, that, I, that I'm coming up with. The blind receive the sight, and the lame walk. The leopards are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. I'm telling you right now, you know, uh, John was in jail fixing to lose his head and he told his disciples to go ask Jesus, are you the one we look for? And Jesus said, yeah, I'm him going down there and tell John. No, he didn't say that. He said, you go back and tell John that the blind man uh, can see and the crippled man can walk. Uh, hallelujah, praise God. And the lepers are clean and the deaf hear and the dead are raised up. Hallelujah. And the poor have the gospel preached to them. <coughs> he went back with that. And old John said, bring it on. And they did. They brought it on. But John's in heaven, amen. We all, you know, I really like these scriptures right there that, that tells a lot. Uh, praise God. Let's look at right here. Let's look at this next scripture right here. He that committed sin is of the devil. Did you know that... Uh, uh, the leader of sinners is what? The devil. All of those sinners out there, and I used to be one, we were being led by the devil. He was our leader. And like Jesse Duplantis said, you know, I was the captain of the herd there, you know. The devil really cried when I got saved because I was the biggest sinner he had. <laughs> I like what old Jesse said about that, you know. And uh, But anyway, I'll tell you right now, Satan is the leader of, of sinners that's the bottom line but now let's go a little further look for the devil sent from the beginning for this purpose the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil there's that scripture we're talking about in other words undo the works of the devil now let's go a little bit further and look at this one right here whosoever is born of god do not commit sin for he his seeker remaineth in him and he cannot sin because he is born of god now you look at that right there and say just because I'm saved, I can't sin. You got a will, you can do things. But this is what you do not do as a Christian. You do not practice sin anymore, do you? You see the see the difference there. When we become a Christian, we don't practice sin no more. We quit it. Now, occasionally we might mess up, but when we do, what do we do? We get on our knees and we ask God to forgive us. Amen? I have not perfect yet i have not arrived there yet you know but i'm going to get there amen now let's go a little bit further here and look uh, uh in this the children of god are manifested and the children of the devil whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of god neither he that loveth not his brother that's a biggie right there isn't it 
We're supposed to love our brothers and sisters, you know. I tell you right now, if you don't love your brothers and sisters, you got some problems and you need to check it out. You got to get it fixed. Amen. And you need to ask God for your mercy and grace to help you that you can love your brothers the way Jesus loves us, you know. I mean, think about it. Or you're supposed to have that love. That's, that's a powerful thing. And those people that does unrighteousness, they're what? They're not a God, are they? And, you know, these people that's got stuff in their mind that they think they're saying everything's okay, I'm going to, that's a deceiving devil. He strikes again, doesn't he? He's got so many people out there running around the world that they think they're okay, and uh, they've been deceived of the devil. They think, hey, I can live like hell, and everything's okay. I'm going to heaven. I, be I believe. Yeah, they believe right there. The devil does too. But are you obeying his commandments? Are you reading his word? Are you have a prayer life, a relationship with him? What are you doing It will convict you to be a Christian? You see there? A lot of people, they just, uh, they just man, the devil's got them lost. Devil's got them lost. Now let's go a little bit further right here and look um, um, in the First Timothy five fifteen. Already, uh, people are what turning towards Satan. It's all over America, y'all. We're seeing it all over America. It's really a sickening uh, 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 of looking at uh, uh, what's going on in America is is a disgrace to the American people what's happening and some of the laws being made and everything that's going on. It's a disgrace to the American people that elected the officials and put some of them in there. Let's look right here and look and see what's happening. For some already turned aside after Satan. Now, did we see a third of the angels done that? Yeah, when Satan rebelled against God and done what he did, there was a third of the angels went with Satan. Well, there's a lot of people uh, today that's turning to Satan instead of turning to God. And we can see it time and time again, y'all. I'm here to tell you, it's happening right before our eyes. Uh, you know, uh, this going on. Now look here in Luke 10, 18 through 20. God gives a power against the devil. We have it. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning uh, falling from heaven. Look right here. I behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents, on scorpions, and all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall be able to by any means to hurt you. Now, God's giving you and I that power, y'all. And we need to hold on to that power because there's times, like tonight, I had to grab a hold of that power, and I did. And guess who showed up? God. Amen? Sometimes you've got to grab a hold of that power. And uh, look at right here. Behold, I give unto you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions over the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, you have power to defeat the enemy. But that ain't what you're supposed to boast at. This is what you're supposed to boast at right here. Look at here. You know, none of us in here, you got baptism of the Holy Ghost, you're not afraid to jump on no demon that pops up. I know some some over here that jumps on them pretty regular. And uh, you see, we have that, okay? But you didn't have that power. You had that baptism. You had it, but you know it. You got baptized in the Holy Ghost. You got that power. We don't go around looking for the demons. But when they show up, we're going to do what we got to do because we have the power, amen? And it don't, it don't bother us to do what we're supposed to do. Look here. Nothing we stand in this rejoice that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. We can shout that, amen? We can shout that. Praise God. Praise God for that. Now, let's go right here on this uh, other one right here. This is the last one I'm going to give tonight because I want you to look at this, and I want you to hold on to this one. Out of all the stuff that Satan has, i got a bunch of stuff up here I could go through about some of the sickness and diseases, but we don't need to do that because our God has healed every one of them. Did you know that? And, and I can show you scriptures, leprosy, lameness, uh, 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 broken bones, uh, crooked backs, uh, 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 just... Uh, uh, fever, inflammation. Uh, do we have that today? Yeah. Burning, madness, uh, uh, strokes, uh, all this. I've got scriptures to show you in my index Bible here where God's healed them already. Now I'm going to give you a scripture to show that it says right here, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Look at here. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Have you got some benefits of the Lord tonight? Man, you got a package deal the world can't even imagine. Let's go a little bit further right here. And let's look right here. Who forgiveth all our iniquities, who healeth all our diseases. You can rejoice tonight. Why? Because you have been forgiven of all your sins and things. Think about it. That's something to rejoice about. And it says that he healeth all our diseases. We just got to keep pressing on. I tell you right now, one day I'm going to get a glorified body. Ain't going to have no problems. Amen. There'll be no problems. That uh, the that the 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 world comes up against down here. Look here, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all <coughs> thy diseases? Not some. It didn't say. It said all. Let's look at this last verse. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Now, what? That's a big factor right there, y'all. The Lord has delivered you and I that was on a road of destruction. But praise God for our king. We have decided to follow Jesus, and by doing that, we've been delivered from that destruction. And who crowned us with loving kindness, he has loving kindness he puts on us, and tender mercies. Thank God for his mercies. Amen. But he's with us. He's with us. He's with us. And we can rejoice at that. And the enemy is certainly out there, but we don't worry about it because... We've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And I'm here to tell you tonight, we are victorious. Sometimes all the things going around this world, you think about some of the stuff that's going on. But we win in the end, y'all. Amen. So we've got a lot we can rejoice. We can, we can share testimonies and we can have hope with each other about what God is doing in our life. And that He loves us. Amen. He loves us so much. And praise God. Our Lord has done dealt with this enemy that comes against us. It's a done deal. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. So I want to, I just want to pray tonight. Really is what I want to do. And I want everybody uh, to agree with me tonight. We're going to stop. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So I want us just to all bow our heads here tonight, and I want to talk to the folks on the Internet, I pray. Are, they, are we on tonight, Nate, on the Internet? Okay. Praise God. Thank you for being with us tonight. We love you, and God loves you so much. But our King, our victory is in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you want to overcome the devil and get off of that road of destruction, just ask Jesus to come in your heart, and he'll certainly do it because he loves you. He loves you. But everybody here tonight, I want everybody to agree. Let's just pray right now. Father, in the holy name of Jesus, I apply the blood of Jesus over each and every one that's in here tonight. And God, you said in your word, if we resist the devil, he will flee from us. And we're resisting the devil right now. And we bind unclean and foul spirits from coming at us in any way or attaching themselves to us in any way. We command them to go in the name of Jesus. Every demon of hell that's coming to try to uh, do something against a, a child of God, we rebuke it. In the name of Jesus right now, we apply the blood of Jesus over each and every one that's in here tonight in a special way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we rebuke any retaliation from the enemy in any way in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for what you're doing and what you've already done. In the holy name of Jesus. And everybody said amen, amen. God bless you. God bless you. Bring somebody back with you. Sunday morning. Amen.